This is Gerald W. Brister, and as you look at the screen, you're going to see uh, my good friend Daniel Mercado. He's grinding the root pass. And uh, what is a root pass? The root pass is the first weld pass that joins your two pieces together. As you run your uh, stringer bead downhill, it uh, produces what we call wagon tracks. That's an undercutting on each side, on each bevel. And in that undercut, there's a lot of slag. It's kind of like uh, if you sweep a floor and dirt gets in the cracks under your baseboard. So the hot pass is designed to burn all that out so that we have a good, for solid first two passes. I have read that the strength of a welded joint is 70% is the beating hot pass being good. That's the foundation. Usually you're gonna run about 10 points hotter than you did for your roof, it'd be higher. Uh, just depends on some things. And uh, you wanna get down on top of that roof. The reason he ground it is because the root pass looks like a little straw in there. Like a, like a straw you have in a Coca-Cola or something, a Dairy Queen. It's crowned. And so we wanna knock that crown down flat so that rod can get down on top of it. Now the thing about the hot pass, it has to be a lot of things. It's doing several things. One is, uh, you have a time limit on it. It is a pass that is time sensitive. Usually five minutes from the time you finish the bead, you should have a hot pass on it. Why is that so? It's so because as that pipe cools down, it produces stresses as it's coming together and shrinking, and it can cause a crack. And a crack is a gas company worst nightmare for a well that's where most of the explosions happen over time uh, after the lines in the ground so they're very sensitive to that so you're gonna get slagged out you're gonna throw some more heat on it real quick um, and you're gonna put some more weld metal that's gonna strengthen it once you get a beaten hot pass in it it's good for three days 72 hours it can sit there until the welders come and weld it out if it's larger than 375 wall, uh, you have to put an extra pass, a bead, a hot pass, and what we call a hot filler. And the hot filler uh, is not a slow filling pass like welding out. It is a hot pass type situation with a 316 rod. It is extra reinforcement and extra heat because that thicker pipe cracks more easily. Also, I'm welding this by myself here. But anytime you weld 12 inch or bigger, the root and the hot pass have to be put in most of the time by two welders. One welder cannot do that unless maybe out in the oil field somewhere where it's low pressure. But on gas lines, you need two welders because of it being time sensitive and heat sensitive, two welders. After that, one welder can weld on really big pipe, but it needs two for the uh, hot passing situation. So we'll just watch this being finished out and then we'll have a picture of what the uh, hot pass looks like buff. I should have cleaned the BBs off of it, but you'll get the point. It looks like little arrows, little Vs when you're running that heat. As your heat comes up, the shape of the, of the puddle has that V shape to it instead of the crescent.